everyone! So today I'm going to give you guys 10 things that I wish I knew before I came to study abroad in Korea. So without further ado, let's get started. Fact 1. The tip of Korean plugs look like this. So mm, it's like two circle thingies. I'm from the States and Japan and they both have plugs like this. So I didn't know about it and one of these costs around maybe 3,000 to 7,000 won. So if you want to save up and just only buy one, don't forget to bring like extension cords from wherever you're from because then you only have to buy one and then you just plug it in and then yeah, you, have, you could use as many cords as you want. I mean if you don't mi mind buying a whole bunch of these then that's fine but these could get a little pricey so I recommend bringing these cord thingy majigi. Fact number two, there are a lot of cheap, well I wouldn't say cheap but completely affordable toiletries like for example shampoo and stuff like that, hair products. You really don't have to bring that much. For example, I dye my hair myself and this is my to-go hair dye from Japan and I, I bought maybe like I bought I bought this in Japan and bought it here because I thought they wouldn't have it in Korea but they have this all over um, you could get this anywhere in Korea actually this is also one of my to-go hair products they even have this in Korea bringing these things could actually put like weight on your suitcase if you have a big bottle of some product that you always like to use or something if it's gonna take up too much space in your um, suitcase just don't even bother bringing it because they have really good products in Korea and a lot of them are imported so yeah I'd, I don't think you'll have trouble finding it so yeah don't bother bringing these things it's a waste of space in your suitcase number three for me this wasn't a problem but I know it was a problem for some of my friends I'm half Korean so and I grew up on Korean food so I don't I could eat like kimchi all day every day if you don't like spicy food or if you yeah if you're not a big fan of kimchi or some of like the Korean food don't forget to bring like a big bottle this you have to bring a big bottle don't forget to bring like a big bottle of sauce or something from your home country for example I have a friend from Indonesia and she doesn't like kimchi and she always like she always regrets like not buying um like bringing a bottle of sauce like they have it in Korea but, I'm pr but it's around two or three times the actual price if you like it will be so much cheaper if you just get it at your home country. Number four, so even for just traveling to Korea or yeah, if you're gonna study abroad in Korea, you you better know what this is. This is just one design, but it's called a T money card. This is what Koreans use for their transport. For example, buses, trains. You you use this. How this works is you buy one of these in any convenience store. Just say like T money. Like if you don't speak fluent Korean, just say T money, and then the lady will understand. And you tell them the amount of money you want to charge on this. So for example, ten thousand won. So you ask them to charge ten thousand won, right? Then you get these. And you could use this anywhere. Like for example, when you're going inside the train, uh, subway. When you're about to use the subway, just tap it on. There's this place where you tap it, and then you go in. And for buses, I didn't know this when I first came, but for buses, you tap this when you're going inside the bus. Like there's a place to tap, and also when you're going out of the bus. So, and if you don't have a tea money at first, when you you pay the money when you're going in the bus because I didn't know this because in Japan it's the opposite you go in the bus and then you pay when you're going out but you pay first and then yeah go out but instead of paying with cash it's so much easier to just have one of these around so I recommend once you get to Korea go to like the first convenience store you see and then ask for a tea money card charge it with about 10,000 won and then yeah head off use public transportation tea money it's very important in Korea Number five, please, please, international students and like everyone who comes to visit Korea, don't flush toilet paper inside the toilet. Uh, I don't know what's, what is it with Korean toilets, but they can't like handle the toilet paper, okay? So usually when you go to the bathroom in Korea, they have this big like garbage can. That's where you put the toilet paper. It's kind of gross because yeah, it's... It, you know it's all like residue in like a big bucket right next to you while you're using the bathroom but please trust me I've been here only for two months and you don't know how many accidents I had because too many people flush the toilet paper oh my god the, the bad thing is usually when you're the person that flushes the toilet paper nothing happens to you it's the person next to you that gets into all the trouble the toilet just like backfires on you like everything just oh it's so gross and it's not even your thing because you know it's the person before that's 
making a clog, so please just don't forget to put the toilet paper inside the trash can, not into the toilet, because it gets pretty nasty in there. Number six. So from number six, it's going to be more towards um, people who are going to study abroad in SNU. I'm not sure how it works in other campuses, but in SNU, you can't bring like electronic blankets or like some heating device, electronic heating device, because one, it's kind of pointless if you're going to live in the dorms because they have nice heating here anyway. And two, it's not allowed. I regret not knowing this because I brought an electronic blanket from Japan because yeah, it's going to get chilly, right? But then one, I wasn't even allowed to use it. And two, I didn't really need it because um, you have unlimited heating in the dorms. Like once you pay, you can use it as much as you want. It's not going to change the price. So yeah, don't bring like... I don't know, any heating device, it's unnecessary. Number seven. When you first arrive to the dorms, there's going to be so many like Christian witnesses. Like, I'm not saying this as in a bad way, but there's going to be so much. And for me, I thought they're doing a good deed, right? So I was like, okay, might as well just listen to them, but they're going to follow you around and <laughs> it gets pretty annoying. Just just ignore them or if you like if you want to practice your Korean and just have a little small conversation that's fine just talk to them but there's going to be so many that's just a heads up because I had no idea and when I first came like literally within the two like the small distance from the bus stop to my dorm literally like six different Christians stopped me and asked if like like tried to witness me and stuff so yeah, just, you're just giving you a warning, it's gonna happen. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Number eight, cafeteria food. You could get as many seconds as you want. So if you eat and you're still not full, just bring your empty plate to the, the cafeteria ladies and then they'll just fill it up for you. Number nine, don't forget to bring sheets pillow and yeah stuff like that because I didn't know that I'll have to bring it because in my home university you could rent it from the um, from the school so yeah I didn't know you had to bring it yourself so I ended up sleeping on a mattress the first day I arrived I mean there are places you could buy it nearby but I don't know I, I would just recommend bringing it from yeah just bring it bring a thin layer it doesn't even have to be a thick blanket or anything because it's pretty warm inside the campus anyway last but not least number 10 you don't have to bring a whole bunch of clothes because the clothes in korea they're actually really cheap and affordable like for example this t-shirt i bought it like a week ago it was only 10,000 won, and this is actually like considered expensive in korea well, i'll give you guys some examples of how cheap korean clothing is so this t-shirt this cute t-shirt just it's just like a normal flowy t-shirt with like little owls on it it was 5001 and usually most t-shirts are around 5001 which is about five us dollars like you could get a whole bunch of like cute clothes for only five bucks skirts skirts are super cheap too like clothes here are cheap i'm telling you you don't have to bring them from wherever you come from just buy them here because they're cute they're cheap and you know why not like for example like these skirts i bought so many skirts here and all of these each were only 5,000 won. So cheap, right? Korea is also known for their cheap and cute socks. They have a whole bunch of socks. This is just one of them. And it's only a dollar, 1,000 won. You don't have to bring a whole bunch of clothes just with your light suitcase with sauces and blankets and sheets just bring that here and you'll be like that's more than enough so yeah i hope you guys found those um 10 things helpful if you guys have any further questions or any video requests just comment down below i'll be more than willing to you know respond and i hope you guys have a good day everybody bye thanks for watching